Hi guys, it's me again. I am Piper Brill and I'm the president of Franklin County Fashion Board and today we will be completing our skirt. We're going to start by putting the right sides together and pinning them together. So when you pin, it should be horizontally towards the fabric. What we're going to do now is we're going to stitch the front and back skirt together at 5 8 inch. As a reminder, it's always great to have a pin cushion right next to you so you can stay organized and safe while sewing. So here you see we are going to back stitch and then we're going to cut off the rest of our thread. If you are using a serger, I have a few tips for you. Make sure that when you're done with the side seam, you give some extra thread at the end so you can connect the thread back into your fabric and you don't have extra hanging off pieces. Now you're going to do that whole process one more time on the other side seam of your skirt. Now we're going to move on to step two. We're going to create a channel for the elastic by folding the top edge of our skirt down twice. We're going to first fold it down at one fourth of an inch and then another time at one inch. We're going to use a hem gauge for this. As you can see, you want to iron it down. Once you have created your channel, you are ready to edge stitch along the lower folded edge, but make sure you leave two inches unsewn at the center back by using a fabric pen to mark where to stop sewing. You wanna start sewing at one of the marks and then stop sewing at the second mark you made. Okay, for your next step, you're going to need an adult helper to help measure your waist plus one inch. I grabbed my model, which is my little sister Charlotte, and we measured around her waist, we added an extra inch, and then we cut it off. You can see here my cat Mia loves sewing with us, but that's aside the point. After we're done cutting our elastic, we're going to attach a safety pin to each end of the elastic, and then we are going to feed the elastic through the elastic waistband channel, making sure that the elastic does not flip.
Then you're going to overlap the elastic ends by one inch, that's why we added that extra inch, and we're going to sew a box. Once you pull the elastic fully inside the channel and you are ready to close the channel, you're going to edge stitch to finish it all off. Then finally, for the end of your project, you're going to press up your hem allowance on the skirt and to create a clean hem, you're going to tuck under raw edge to meet crease and press. Then you're going to stitch to hold the hem in place and your skirt will be done. The final step would be to iron out your project to make it look flat and nice and try it on. Here's my little sister Charlotte modeling her skirt. She loves it so much and I would just like to thank Haley Loudon for making the pattern to this skirt and making it available for Franklin County to use and for other counties in Ohio to use as well. I hope that this video has helped you and if you have any questions, feel free to contact Franklin County Fashion Board at gmail.com. Thanks and happy sewing.